Tommy and Eddie, the Skit Guys, welcome once again to our family camp fireside chat. Oh my goodness. Okay, now the this is like the game Survivor, the TV show Survivor. Like right. my fire isn't really started that well, but I'm but I'm going to but I'm going to get it started before this fireside chat is over. This is going to be a flaming fire over here. All right. Yeah, and it's going to be fantastic. Uh, uh, the way this works, if this is your first time to join us, we're going to uh, have a conversation with one of the actors from Family Camp. This one is super great. I'm very excited about it. And then following this, we will be able to chat together at Skit Guys Insider. Hey, and, and if you have uh, rented it out of theater, if you've bought some tickets, uh, tell us what you're excited about. This is the first faith-based family friendly comedy that will be in movie theaters. So we would love to hear your opinion, your thoughts on that. We've got some great cast members, and this this gentleman is no exception. Oh, it's fantastic. This is the guy that you, if you've watched the trailer, you've gone, I know that guy. Yeah, I know you that know, guy. I've seen yeah, that guy yeah. in a lot of stuff yeah. over the years. He's very talented. He's very funny. Um, he's one of the guys that, like, when we knew he was going to be in the movie, mm -hmm. it was a bit... Um, intimidating. Yeah, that's the word. It was a bit intimidating yes. because we knew he was a pro and he'd done this a lot. But, oh, my goodness, he was so kind. Uh, such a great guy. Uh, so, anyway, let's leave it at that. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Mark Christopher Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> you, you said Mr. I started looking around. Who's he talking about? <laughs> that's the weird thing about the world we live in. I'm on a Zoom conference. Who's in my house that they're talking about? I wanted to say <laughs> Sir Mark Christopher Lawrence. That just sounded Ooh, more. It does. Yeah, Sir Mark. Sir Mark. Chris, yeah, Sir Mark. So Sir Mark's a lot. Either well, way, then I had to go get that crown out of out of out of storage and all that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Blessed. Incredibly blessed. Good. Good. Well, we are too because. You blessed us with your presence and your gifts and talents, and I cannot wait for people to see Family Camp so they can uh, see, to call it, I mean, we know it's acting, right? I mean, you're a stand-up comedian, and you're, you're an actor, you've been in so much stuff, but you, you make it so real, so believable, so wonderful, so... Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking this movie to a whole other level. You you did that, so thank you for doing that. Yeah. Uh, thank thank you. I'm 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 so proud to be a part of it. It um, you know, from from the first time I read the script and then came in do the audition and and I, I left the audition and called my manager in the parking lot. I said, Hey, I really like this project. I oh. said, um, I said, you know, I felt real good in the room. I said, I think you know we probably have a shot. And uh, and then pandemic happened. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. We all thought none of us had a shot at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark, you've done a lot of movies. You've done TV, like Eddie said. You've done stand up. Like you, here you go to Oklahoma. Uh, you know, in 2020 to film a movie. Like, what was filming Family Camp like for you? It was a lot of fun it, you know it, it was it was the first thing that i did you know once the pandemic started and um i was just glad to be working and then i just and then i was just glad to get out of there every day without a tick on me <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right without a tick <laughs> we have uh when we when we travel as as you do you you go you know you do stand up um, we we travel around do our skit comedy we get to show the trailer and two people that uh, collect chatter Lee Allen Baker and you yeah. and and when we talk to the people that are sitting in the audience okay this is what they say and it's so great because it's a cornucopia of how people know you it's the pursuit of happiness guy it's the Christmas of the cranks guy it's the Chuck guy <laughs> like you I mean. You've been in some just great movies and everything, so um, it really was an honor that you came you came our way and said yes to us. We were a little starstruck by it all. Oh man, yeah. I I don't know why I, I go to my mother's house and I, I'm just that guy that empties the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I Mark, I've got a, a, a great memory from set. There's a great scene that we get to do together mm -hmm. where you as the pastor really kind of deliver the goods and, and straighten me out. Was there, was there a favorite memory? Was there any experience that you had that you took away from, from the filming? I, I, you know, I, I, the scene that you're talking about is really my favorite moment in, in the thing, um, mm -hmm. in the whole process for me. 
because it was meaty and and meaningful mm -hmm. and uh you know acting with you in that scene was great because because uh you you were very pliable it's like it's like no matter what i threw at you you came back with something and it, and it made it fun to do oh, what a compliment thank you i'm gonna i'll take that one home with me i I, this is how I knew, like, okay, he, he is he is a consummate performer, consummate actor. Do you remember the scene when we're, we're uh, he's he's choking on a piece of meat and I do him the Heimlich, right? You remember that scene? <laughs> yes. And you're behind us, and you know we do that scene over and over and over and over and over, and you're and you have to laugh, like you you're doing the big laugh, you know, like you think it's right. just ridiculous, funny, and your laugh every single time was just on spot, on mark. It was just it was beautiful. I was like. My codependency was kicking in going, you don't have to laugh anymore. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But you did it so brilliantly. Like it was the first time you ever saw it. It was wonderful. Nice. nice. I, you know, it's, it's, I, think, I think one thing, you know, from doing a lot of theater is, you know, you got to be present in the moment. And, and that's what I try to do when I'm on set. Yeah. You know, I try to be present in the moment. And, and no matter what comes at me, you know, I'm responding to it as opposed to uh, me having this sort of canned response. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Man. You did great. Oh, you do it so well. So well. Uh, Mark, you're a dad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like when we talk about family camp and family, like how, how is uh, family important to you? Well, I, you know, w w without your family, it's like, it's like, you don't, you don't really have anything, right? It's mm -hmm. like, it's, it, we just live a life of, hoping that that people like us or whatever and you know your family's gonna always be true to you and always you know give you the the, the, the straight dope even if it's something you don't really want to hear mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and and that that's important to me I like I lost my brother um, mm. back in 95 and prior to that I, I don't remember our our family ever sort of hugging on each other and saying you know we love you every day but that was a, a pivoting moment for us and and now we don't get off the phone without saying i love you wow oh. because because you never know when you're gonna not see somebody again yeah. oh. so it, it, hellos and goodbyes are very important oh that's beautiful that. yeah. and and there's the fact of what you said earlier is your family keeps you grounded because you're the guy who takes out the trash right yep yeah now yep i don't care what movie you've been in <laughs> You know, my trash needs it. Man. Get, get, grab that trash before you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So I I was looking through all, all the stuff that you've been in. So there was a movie. Okay. So Tommy and I, you, as you know, we've known each other since high school. We love to go to movies. And part of the movie experience was we'd watch trailers. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh -huh. and we still do it to this day. We'll watch a trailer and we'll be like. Yeah. Okay. So. Rewind the tape to, I don't know, um, he and I, we are, we're in Lawton, Oklahoma. Okay. We're watching a movie. Your <coughs> grandma, your grandma, your, yeah. okay, lived My in Lawton. We were there for whatever reason. I cannot remember. I'm going to um, say it's probably about 1987, 86, somewhere around there. I don't know. Maybe later? Maybe later. Maybe, okay. maybe, ah, maybe, I don't, maybe, okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay. 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 But we see this trailer and I did not realize, and to us, it was like, oh. I don't know. This was like, the trailer was so amazing, okay? It was this. It was Listen to Me with Kurt Cameron oh, yeah. and Roy Scheider. And, um, <laughs> okay, so what um, What? What did, what did you, what What part did you play? In, what, what year was this? Like, 89? I, I was still in college, so I'm thinking it was 86 or 87. Okay, okay, okay. And, um, you know, I went to USC on a debate scholarship. So uh, there were some people in the movie who were in the sort of forensic world Got it. that were in the movie. And so it was, it was, it was fun for me to do. I, I played, I actually played the, the cafeteria chef. In awesome. That movie. It was a small part, but it was one of my first, one of my first things. That is awesome. Okay. I can't oh, wait to come back and watch you. On I know that. I got to go watch it now. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And everybody. Don't blink. <laughs> you blink. <it. laughs> And you're still part of one of my favorite TV shows, Chuck. Um, I'm sure you oh, get that a lot. Like Big Mike. Oh my gosh, that I, I just love that show, and I loved you in it. Was that was that a fun experience? It was a great experience. It, it's you know I've, I've been doing this for thirty five years professionally, thirty six years professionally, and um, 
it's 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 the first time well outside of the George Wentz show that I was involved in a show that that I loved going to work every day. Every mm -hmm. time I had to go to work, I was so happy to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a large cast. I mean, there were 10 series regulars. Mm -hmm. So um, everybody had their, their moments to shine. And, and, you know, Zach Levi, I can't say enough about him. He's just this graceful, generous guy. Mm -hmm. In fact, I, I actually sent him a, a message yesterday because I watched... Um, the Kurt Warner thing, uh, yeah. American underdog on, on the plane. And, you know, I was moved to, to tear up a couple of times th through there. And it's like, you know, Zach's portrayal of Kurt, you know, really was phenomenal. And when you have somebody like that, who's, who's generous on screen and off, it's, it's really fun to go to work with. Like, like there were, there were times where um, I didn't have a publicist at the time and his, his publicist would take care of me. Mm -hmm. because wow. he asked her to you know wow. it was great wow. it was like uh, amazing oh well I'd love to hear that yeah and you did that for us i want you to know however you, however that looks like for you you did that for us you paid that back for for us you were so generous with your time with your talent with your with thoughts with direction you you made us better so seriously like that is such a it's it's overwhelming to have someone like you come on the set when when we've watched you on movies and on our TV sets and stuff and have you walk into our, you know, this little world and, and you were so amazing, so generous and so talented. So I, so thank you for giving it back because that's what you did on family camp. You gave it back tenfold. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. I, I try to go to work and, 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 you know, be a professional and do my job and um, leave a good impression so that people might want to hire me again. <laughs> oh, I love wow. that. That's fantastic. Wow. And, and you do wow. a great job at that. Also, wow. thank you. Uh, there's a catchphrase in my family now, whoop, whoop, sugar bear. Yes. Which, uh, <laughs> is, I, I, think, <laughs> I think one of the lines from the movie that is going to just live on and on out of your mouth. Um, let me ask you this. Like I started following you. Once, once we started working together, I started following you on the social medias. And I, I said this. You quote more scripture on social media than most churches do. Um, and I, I mean that as a great compliment, but like what, what started you to do that? Why, why, why do you do that? So uh, when, when I first started doing that, I was only doing it on Twitter. And basically it's, it's what I read. It's the first thing I read in the morning. Uh, you know, I get up, I say my prayers and, and then I read hmm. the scripture and that's usually, so what I post is usually the verse of the day from my version Bible. And um, sometimes it speaks to me and sometimes it doesn't. And, and, but I post it because it may speak to someone else. And when the quarantine period started, I didn't have any shows or anything to post on, on my social media. So I started posting the scripture on, across all the platforms that I'm on. Mm -hmm. And people uh, respond with, you know, it really spoke to me or, or I really need to hear that today. And um, so I just decided, well, I'll just keep doing it. It just makes sense. Man, well, it, it blesses me. I love too. my favorite days are the days that the passage really has nothing to do with the picture. Uh, and I try to try to <laughs> put them together and figure it out. But it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> thanks for sharing. And thanks for being just so real and so transparent. Yeah, I, I think I think that's what's so beautiful, especially in the faith based world. Um, you have. Uh, it's so crazy when when people that are seeing the trailer and different things it's such a beautiful thing, you know, like Mark Christopher Lawrence, he's a believer. Like it really, I mean, as, as maybe as kind of, I don't know what the word would be to like, that may not sound like a big deal to you, but because of what you have done over the past 30 something years, like when somebody sees that there, there's a lot of hope, they're mm. like, wow, he's in the trenches. He he's going for it. He's, you know, he's in there making a difference and you're, you're not giving, you're not giving up your scruples and your morals and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it really is encouraging to people. So thank you for just being a, a, a living Testament that way. You know, I, I, I just, um, I don't know that that I intentionally set out to do that, and I think I think God does what He does, mm -hmm. and He uses us in the way that 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 He needs to use us, and and sometimes we fight against it, and, and we end up doing it anyway <laughs> because <laughs> His plan is not our plan. Um, and and I, I'm glad that it, that it touches people. I I, um, I I think I think for me, I'm I'm not a perfect Christian by any stretch of the imagination, 
And, you know, every day, I mean, I know what my challenges are. I know what I fight against and battle against every day. And um, uh, if I can, you know, post something that, that somebody will take a look at and it blesses them in some kind of way, then I'm happy for them. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Well said. None of us are that Christian that we want to be. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. And, and we right? know our battles too, man. Mm-hmm. And and I, what I love is like the timing kind of fell into a place where you come in and you play Pastor Dave in the movie. And that's the same time you start like putting out scripture every day. And so it's kind of like you're now Pastor Mark Christopher Lawrence and your pulpit <laughs> is Instagram. And I love that, man. Keep it coming. It's fantastic. It was, it's funny. I just finished the film uh, lying together that I'm playing a pastor in that. I was like, okay, now I'm typecast as a pastor. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mark, oh, awesome. uh, thank you. Thank you for, again, your gifts, your talents. Thank you for honoring the Lord. Thanks for sharing the word of God every day. Yeah. I mean, that is just a fantastic ministry that you have. And, and thanks for your time today. One last question before we go. If someone's sure. watching this and, you know, uh, a lot of the faith-based movies have been more dramatic, more serious in nature, um, you know, uh, the faith-based movies can have a, a, a comedic element or that character, but we made we made a, a, a comedy, you know, with little dips. Um, yeah, you did. With, uh, with someone that may have religious baggage, someone that may not go to church, or someone that may go, no, I don't know if I want to go sit in a, a faith-based comedy, you know, family-friendly comedy. What would you say to them to get them, encourage them to take a chance May 13th and come out and uh, say family camp? I, w- I would say that that uh, family camp is, is, is not one of those films that beats you over the head with, with religion and trying to save your soul. You know, we just want you to be able to sit there with your family and laugh. Amen. Mm. Okay. And that's what it does. And if you get your soul saved in the process, that'd be good too. Amen. Yeah. I love that. Amen. Oh, Mark, you're the best. Oh, man. Sir Mark, thank you so much. Sir Mark, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. (laughs) All right. Well, blessings to you. Ah, what a great guy. That was great. Um, So two things that we didn't talk about there. I didn't want to embarrass him. Okay. But like that scene that we shot together, yeah. Like when you shoot a scene, like you do the acting, and then they got to move cameras and lights, and you're just standing there, right? The best conversations with him, oh, like like he that. is just real. That. He helped me see things from a different perspective oh. in different ways, and I mean, was just so giving in that way. The other thing was he taught me about a uh, sushi restaurant I didn't even know existed in my hometown. And you went there. I did. It was great. That's really great. Yeah. Anyway. Well, uh, Mark Christopher Lawrence, thank you so much for being with us. And for all our insiders, uh, we're going to be going over to the uh, Facebook Insider page. Yes. You know, can I sing the theme song one more time? No. Is that cool? We're going to the Insider. We're going to the Insider. So if you got your questions, bring them over there. You just want to talk, throw it out there. We'll spend some time together. We're looking forward to it. We'll see you at the Insider's page. Insider's.